In this demo, we'll take a look at how Zscaler Cloud Sandbox works in tandem with Microsoft Defender to enhance your organization's security posture. Through our API integration, the threat detected by Zscaler Sandbox can be correlated with Defender telemetry data automatically to pinpoint the infected endpoints in your environment. Zscaler can also trigger various remediation responses to the Defender platform. First, the administrator logs in to the Zscaler admin portal. On the following dashboard, navigate to the Administration tab, click on Partner Integrations, and select the Microsoft Defender tab. Clicking on Provide Admin Credential will pivot to your Defender tenant. Choose the appropriate Microsoft account to sign in under and provide permissions by accepting the listed settings. ZIA needs these permissions to make API calls to Defender. The administrator is then redirected to the ZIA portal. Saving the settings will complete the API connectivity between ZIA and Defender. Next, we download an executable on a client PC. The file is sent to the Zscaler sandbox and a simultaneous download is allowed per the ZIA policy. In this instance, file download is allowed while sandbox detonation is in progress per the sandbox first time action policy set up by the ZIA admin. The admin returns to the dashboard clicks on Analytics and selects Web Insights and checks the relevant Zscaler logs. The file was found to be malicious by the ZIA Sandbox. Further inspection in the Zscaler Sandbox report provides a threat score on the malicious file, and in this scenario, the file was a patient zero case. Next, the administrator inspects the Microsoft Defender Endpoint Hits report. Through a background API call, Zscaler will query Defender for this file hash to find devices where the file is present. The malicious file was present on two endpoints. Even though there was a single transaction in ZIA, the file landed on another host through another mechanism. The admin simply clicks Prevent Future Executions, and ZIA pushes the SHA-1 hash to Defender via the API to block all future executions of this file. This hash now shows up in the Defender tenant as a custom threat indicator. Defender will block all future executions of this file on all devices in this Defender tenant. Three other actions supported via API are network isolation, stop current executions, quarantine the file, and trigger auto IR. The admin clicks on stop current executions and it will kill any ongoing executions of that file and quarantine it. This is the file execution in progress. The file execution gets killed by Defender. In the Defender Endpoint Hits report, the file now reflects that it is quarantined. Clicking on Isolate will send an API call to Defender to cut off all network access for that host to prevent this machine from infecting other machines. Back in the Defender Endpoint Hits module, the endpoint status now reflects it is isolated. In this case, we had RDP'd to this machine, and because of isolation, our RDP connection gets killed. Next, we will choose the Trigger Alert and Start Auto IR action. In the Alerts queue, we can choose the alert triggered by Zscaler and view the details in the right-hand panel. The alert description shows the reason for the trigger and where it came from. In this case, it came from the ZIA Sandbox. Clicking on See in Timeline will show all operations Defender registered relevant to this file. The Automated Investigation and Response, or Auto IR, functionality is based on Microsoft AI's capabilities for threat hunting. Defender will take the file hash and device in question as a starting point and will expand its scope to other devices and alerts if needed. Defender Auto IR can take remediation action based on the level of automation enabled within the Defender tenant by the Defender admin. An admin can also hunt manually for all evidence Defender has collected. Defender technology assists in auto-populating these queries.